this video, we want to change the register page when we are using external login. So you can see where this page is. It is inside identity account external login. So let me close it here and I'll close all the documents. We'll go to our identity. We have account. We have external login right here. We'll first open the page model and we want it to look exactly similar to register but without the is admin flag. So we'll open the register page model as well and we'll start making changes to our external login. We will need the role manager and the application DB context. So we'll get that using dependency injection. We'll copy the constructor. We'll paste it right here. We'll do a comma actually, there we go. We'll have to do control dot for app db context. Let's go back and we'll also copy where we are assigning the objects. So with this, we have the db and the role manager. Now we need to tweak our input model. So we'll go to our class of input model and here from register, we will take all the properties Accept password and confirm password. We do not need the isAdmin flag as well. The reason we don't want the password is because when we are using Facebook authentication, there is no password, there is O authentication. So this looks good for our input model. And then we have to work with our get handler. So inside get handler here, we won't have to tweak anything because what we are passing is input model, which is binded. So what we'll do, we'll go to Solution Explorer. Let me open the register and the external login views. Then right here, what we can do is we'll go to register and we'll copy all of the form groups that we have. We don't want the is admin, so we'll leave that. But let me copy all of them and we'll remove the password inside our external login. So right here, we'll make some space where we have the email and let me paste it. I'll remove the password and confirm password. We do not want that. And if we go back to register, we'll also copy the form group with the register button. Let's copy this and paste it right here. So everything here looks good. We can just remove this button for register and we have the postal code, zip code, email and name. So now let's run our application and see how things are coming along. If we go and log in to Facebook, great, we have a view which is different now and we see more buttons here. Also you see that the email is already populated based on my Facebook account. What I want to do is I also want to make sure that the name is populated. So let's do that in the next video and let's also tweak view designing here. While we are here, the first thing I want to change is a little bit of designing here. So if we switch back to our application, right here, let me scroll to the external login razor page. Instead of 4, I'll make it 12 here. Let me save this or let me make it 7. And if we go back and refresh, though space. The spacing is much more aligned now and I'll just change the heading here. So let me go back and we'll have this as h2 class of text info. Let's save this. We'll have a blue color. We'll do the same for our h4. Give it a class of text info. Everything looks a little bit bluish but I'll just leave it right there. And we'll go back once again and inside here I'll give it a border and background white. Let's save this, go back and refresh. This looks much more aligned. What I want to do is I want to give this a full div. So for that I'll just make it column medium 12 but I'll have to tweak few things here like rather than 4 and 8 I will make it something like 2 and 5. I'll do an insert so I can change that easier. 2, 5, let me go all the way at the end. 
we would make it 5, 2, 5, 2, 5, whoops. Okay, let me save this, go back and refresh, and the design looks much better now. I also want to make a change so that the name is automatically populated, and for that we'll have to stop the application, go to the external login razor page, and if you scroll up, right here we have the onget callback async. Here if you scroll down, you can see when we are returning back to the page, we are fetching the email from the info.principal. So right here, we can also retrieve name. So we can say name is equal to first value, And inside claim types, we have all the available options, but we want name from there. Let me save this and refresh and run our application. And this time, when we go to log in using Facebook, it will fetch the name. You can see it already fetches our name. So it is working as expected. Now, once we fill in all the details and hit the register button, we still have not completed the post handler. So for that, let me stop here. We'll scroll down. We have the on post confirmation async. And here, if the model state is valid, we are creating a new user, but this is of the type identity user. What we want is application user. So we'll say application user, do control dot to include the models and we'll assign all the properties here. We have the username, email, and then if we go to our register and scroll down, we have other properties. Let me copy them and we'll paste them right here. So this way we will have our new application user which we will create. Now once the creation is successful and the role that we will assign will be customer and user. So after the result is successful, we will do await. We will use our user manager and we will say add to role async. Here we want to add our user to the role of static details we'll have to do a control dot and we'll say customer and user. So with this, whoever registers using Facebook and Google will be a customer and user. Then if we go on top of the page, we added the application DB context, but we do not need that. So let me remove that. And with this, everything looks good. Let me run this and create our first account using Facebook. We'll go to login with the Facebook and let's hit the register button. Great, the user has been registered and it logs us in. And you can see that this is not an admin user because you do not see the service type or cars. Now let's go to our database. And right here, if we go to the ASP.NET users, we do a select top thousand. You will see the email address right here and if you go on the right hand side you also see all the properties have been populated so it is working as expected.